So it's my turn. Uh, I will present you the new HD Life, we, which is a new uh, render mode. And this is a timeline of the improvement of the surface mode from uh, 1989 to uh, three years ago. It was uh, HD Life. And what is new this year? This is a new render mode. This is a HD Life with silhouette. And 2014, that means we use already the surface mode in 3D since a uh, uh, quarter of century. And what is this new HD Life with a silhouette? It is this. You can obtain this kind of rendering. And I will show you how to use it first on early pregnancy with a gestational sac. <coughs> This is a gestational sac so with the embryo inside. You put the box around the gestational sac. And this is how to do. When you move inside, <coughs> this is a classic surface rendering. It's quite difficult. Sometimes you have to use a magic cut. Here you choose HD Life. And you will play with a silhouette. With a silhouette, it's a kind of transparency. And you can see what is inside. And after, you have to play with the position of the light, with the transparency. So you do not have to cut with a magic cut. You can look at the wall gestational sac with a transparency. <coughs> Here you can see <coughs> embryo at 8 weeks and 10 weeks of pregnancy with the level of silhouette is low. And now we will increase the level of silhouette and you can see inside the brain cavities clearly. And this one is an eight-week uh, embryo with the brain cavities. I don't know if I will find. And with the anterior part here of the two lateral ventricles and on the posterior part, this is a rhombocephalon. This is quite easy to obtain and you don't have to use a magic cut. Using the magic cut was quite difficult before because it was really difficult to know where it was possible to cut. But now, with this mode, you can clearly first you choose the silhouette. You can cut exactly the, and extract the brain vesicles. And this is a result with inversion and also with HD life. Now, some example in the first trimester of the pregnancy with the first one at seven weeks of pregnancy, eight weeks of pregnancy, nine weeks, and this one with nine weeks of pregnancy, we, we can clearly see the vitelling duct connected to the umbilical cord, and this one of 10 weeks of pregnancy, where we can really recognize the two lateral ventricles here. I really like to use it in case of twin pregnancy because twin pregnancy is difficult to provide sometimes some good image, 3D image. In this case, we choose a volume without cutting the volume and this is a result with a silhouette mode. And this is another one, a monochorionic twins and also it was uh, monoamniotic twins. And you can clearly see here the two embryo. And also it was a monoamniotic twins, but with two yolk sac. Triplet, it's really difficult to give a, a 3D picture of triplet. But in this case, if you play with this silhouette, this transparency, you can obtain this. Some example in case of malformation. This was a case of sirenomelia at 10 weeks of pregnancy. You can see the brain. The brain was normal, but also with a club fit and you have club hand, and you have only one um, leg here, and this is a part of the of the tail. Uh, Allobarolopresencephaly at eight week of pregnancy. How you can use this mode? This is a normal one, and this is this case. This is a single frontal ventricle compared to this one. And when you move, you can clearly see the difference between the two normal lateral ventricles here and this one with a single lateral ventricle. This was a dead embryo at nine weeks of pregnancy with a cystic trophoblast. So now we take the volume, increase the silhouette, and you can see all the cystic parts within the trophoblast. 
Can, so this is uh, in the early stage of pregnancy. Can we use it later at 12 weeks of pregnancy? Yes, you can see here different, this is a HD life and this is with different level of silhouette. This is a maximum, this is uh, around 50%. And with a maximum, you can see inside the brain. And also, look at this, you have the stomach and the bladder. And this is another one at 12 weeks of pregnancy, the same. You, we just change the transparency, the silhouette. And inside this abdomen, you can see the stomach. And here, some example of a normal fetus with a different level of silhouette. Malformation, this was an anterior cephalocell with, uh, because of amniotic bond, the cord was stuck on the head to the cephalocell here, and with transparency, you can see the liquid part here, and a part of the choroid plexus was outside. Omphalocell, 13 weeks of pregnancy with a omphalocell and club hand. Holoprosencephaly at 12 weeks of pregnancy. So you can demonstrate with this without cutting with a magic cut this single frontal ventricle. And this one was um, monoamniotic twins with one was a acrania. The 2D picture was at 11 weeks and the 3D picture was at 12 weeks with a tangle umbilical cord. And this, with the silhouette, you can see the abnormal shape of the uh, ventricle inside this brain. Can we use it later in the pregnancy for the baby face? Yes. Here you can see the difference between a standard rendering, HD life rendering, and HD life with different level of silhouette. This is to maximum. You will never use it, this one because it's not really nice. I always use a mix between this one and this one. And here you have some example of face obtained with this silhouette, with this HD life with silhouette, and you obtain a more glossy aspect of the face, but it's quite nice. And this, you can use it in real time, especially with a new probe, because with this electronic probe, we can move from six to 10 frames per second, where it was, it was possible to, to have only two to four frames per second with a mechanical probe. Some example of use in the second trimester of the pregnancy. This is a, a section of the abdomen, uh, volume of the abdomen, but using the silhouette, you can recognize the portal vein, the suzepatic vein, the portal vein here, and the, and the gallbladder here, and the stomach is here. This was a duodenal atresia here with the dilatation of the duodenum. Uh, dilatation of the intracerebral ventricle and a nice view of a kidney with hydronephrosis. And you saw already uh, some picture of the heart, but we can use this silhouette for the heart. And look at this one. This is a heart, and we use silhouette. And you can see on the left how to obtain this. First, you start with a complete volume. You choose a silhouette, and after you just have to play with the transparency, and also you will move the position of the light, and you can obtain this. And this is a view with a silhouette <coughs> of the ventriculoceptar valve. You just put the position of the box here inside the ventricle, and you have this view, and this one is played with a slow uh, motion. You saw on uh, Rabbi Shawi uh, lectures uh, how we can use it for the heart because with this H HD life, with uh, new silhouette, also it's work with color Doppler. We have this kind of aspect, glossy aspect. This was the old one and this is the new one. So you can obtain this kind of picture. But I will. Show you some umbilical cord. Look at all this umbilical cord. 
the normal and usual aspect of umbilical cord is this one and this one. But sometimes you have this, sometimes you have the loop of the umbilical cord, sometimes you have many loop of umbilical cord. And in this case, the vein was dividing in two veins. You can see here the two veins. And this one was tranched, but it was the same fetus. And one part of the umbilical cord, the cord was like this. And on the other part, it was like this. Umbilical cord, it was a single umbilical artery, but only on one part of the, of the umbilical cord. You can see here, single umbilical cord. And on the other part, you have two uh, umbilical, uh, single umbilical artery. And here, you have two umbilical arteries. And this is a fusion of the two arteries into one. Insertion of the cord with this one in a singleton, in a only one fetus. The second one was a monochorionic diamniotic twins with the insertion of the two umbilical cord. And the last one was a monoamniotic twin with a tangle umbilical cord. Knots, you can see here, two types of knots, uh, a standard knot, uh, overhand knot, and the other one is a eight, uh, figure eight knot. And it's quite difficult to do it, but the fetus know how to do it. But I will show you how to do it. First, this is a cord. You just have to imagine the position of the fetus is here. And how to do a knot, I will show you. You just have to do this, and this is how to do a, a knot. And if you want to do an eight knot, you have to do this, first a loop, and after you go inside and you do an eight knot. So sometimes fetus are clever and crazy. <laughs> this is a procedencia of umbilical cord. You can see on this, this was obtained with a transvaginal probe. This is a short cervix with umbilical cord. This was a head. And with a magic cut, I remove only a part of the cervix and uh, to, to obtain only a, a slice of the cervix. And you will see with this new rendering, this cervix and all the loop of this umbilical cord. It's a nice picture, but when I provide this kind of picture to the obstetricians, I don't like it. <laughs> can we use it in gynae? Yes, we can. I, I do not have yet too much experience in gynecology, but here you can see follicles inside one ovary. This is a septated uterus. See on the sunshine. A cyst and the interior wall of the uh, ovarian cyst. This is uh, vascularization of the corpus luteum. And this one was a bladder with a diverticule. So you can use this rendering. So you saw what is possible to do with this new uh, random mode, and it's really exciting. And if you need, you can come. I have uh, tomorrow, I have a meet the expert session. And on this meet the expert session, I will show you the, what we can do with the system and especially what we can do with this new uh, HD life. And thank you for your attention.